Hey y'all, you want to do a DM and DF reading? AKA Twin Flames, see what's going on? I do too. Hold on. All right. That just fell. Isn't it beautiful? So I am new to reading. Um, the Holy Spirit is my spirit guide. Um, I, I'm the Holy Spirit's my spirit guide. Um, but yes, I am new. So I, I, I am thankful for your time. You know, whether new or not, no matter what, I'm thankful for your time. Um, but yes, so I apologize if it might be a little, you know, like, woo, but we're going to get through it, right? And I'm just, I'm thankful for you for um, sharing your time with me, and I'm very thankful to the new friends I've actually made and people, uh, you know, I've gotten to know through YouTube that God has worked through to actually help bring this out of myself. I'm very thankful in Jesus' name. All right, so let's see what's going on. All right, so remain calm. Patience is a virtue. We are one, a singer, flowers. All right, so whatever you're go whatever's going on, uh, I'm picking up that it might be a little bit like some turmoil, like um, you know how when you're on a plane and it's like. You know, like, hey, put your seatbelts on. Flight's getting a little rocky or turbulence. Yeah, so this is what I'm picking up and with the energies is that there is a little bit of turbulence going on and we need to remain calm, all right? Patience is a virtue. It is. It helps does something to us, all right? We are one. Our twin flames, you know, we are one with our twin flames. We are one. They are with us, all right? And when, because we are one, when they hurt, we hurt. You know what I mean? Like, and I know earlier, one thing that kind of downloaded on me was, um, be kind to yourself. And when you're kind to yourself, you're kind to your one. You know, so we got to think about them as they, as who they are, which is us. All right, and we don't like to hurt ourselves, you know, but some of us, we are still learning how to correctly love ourselves, you know what I mean, and we're always going to be learning that, we're human, we're never going to perfect that department, because every day we learn, you know, every day we learn, to me, uh, what I believe, uh, <clears throat> and what's told to me is that this life is a training ground for what's to come, so we can handle the spiritual realm when we pass when we pass over all right somebody's a singer this could be your twin flame it is a, a musician or you are y'all might not even know this yet about yourself <clears throat> you might not even know or maybe you do but yeah there's a singer in the midst of us all right flowers they want to give you flowers. Oh, that's so sweet. What's your favorite flower? I like sunflowers. Sunflowers are my favorite flower. I really don't want to make this about me, but I think it's important to share, you know, our journeys and everything with life. But I know flowers, sunflowers for me, I had a little brother. He was chronically ill. A very special kid. And, um, but yeah, and he's actually the one that witnessed to me about Christ and he could barely talk. It was crazy because we grew up in, we grew up with witchcraft. So, but yeah, so sunflowers are my little brother's first flower. But, or maybe who knows, maybe you're going to receive flowers or you have. All right. So one thing i'm learning because on this journey i am uh in my awakening stages so to speak um and we are being called we are all being called to remember i've i've been getting this download for years now y'all remember 
Remember who you are, child of God. Remember. Aw, and they want to adore you in many ways. How sweet is that? And that can be a very scary thing. You know? Like, that can be a very, very, very scary thing. Like... Definitely, if you are not used to that, if you are used to being treat, treated a certain way, that can kind of be almost intimidating. And we don't want to project that on them. Like, if they, if, they, if they want to do something for us, just like we don't want them doing that to us. We want to be kind to ourselves. We don't want to do that to ourselves, right? We, so, if they, you know, we need to be ex more be accepting. You know what I mean? Not push away. I remember there was one time, right? Um, anyways, we're not going to go there. Oh, no, it's the first one. They're proud of you. They're proud of your growth. Wait, is there anything else, Holy Spirit, that DMs, DFs would like to know? You are a power couple. So, the... Um, when it comes to these relationships, they are not to be hoarded. When, when you unite, you are to share that with the world. I don't know exactly what God wants you to share. Could be your music. There's power in music. They sit around, the angels sit around God's throne all day. Holy, holy is the God Almighty. And then singing about the Lamb, which is Jesus Christ, all right? Because, you know, Jesus is the only one that can open up the Book of Life. The Book of Life, once it opens, if your name's not on the scroll, you ain't going. I hope you got your name. I know my name's on the scroll. I wonder what it looks like. I wonder, like, if the writing's different. Oh, it's pretty. All right, so let's see if there's anything else. Woohoo! I want to get some, um, like a laminator, you know? And, like, I guess, like, a laminate the cards. Holy Spirit, is there anything else that. And remain loyal, alright? Now, things happen, but for you to really get this connection going. You know, remain loyal. Remain loyal to yourself. Love yourself. Treat yourself fair. Treat yourself kind. Don't double doubt yourself. My intuition, I like to call also, is my the Holy Spirit, okay? And so we're to listen to the Holy Spirit, right? We're to listen to the Holy Spirit. But, alright, we're to listen to our intuition, so treat yourself good. Remain loyal. How would you how would you want yourself to treat yourself? Would you want to cheat on yourself? Would you know now things happen. You know, this is not no attack. Things happen. Alright, but I really want you, because this is what the reading's pulling out, to really think about when you link up with somebody, is this good for you? Is it good? Is it not good? We all have different paths. We all have different struggles. You know, some people, they sincerely have the struggle of, a, like, sex and all that. But you got to think about it. Every time you connect with somebody like that, you're taking on their energies, man. And you're, you're bringing it into your temple. Because we are the church. And you're letting, and think about it like you're letting an intruder in. And then now you're stuck with the remains of that intruder. Like, the way they think. We create, what, soul ties, right? Those cords, they gotta be cut. The way they think, everything they are, you're bringing a piece of them into you. Into your world when you connect with them on such a level. Because that is a very sacred level. It's a, it's a covenant. Alright? But we I've been there. You know what I mean? I've, I've been with people. Of course I've been with people, you know, and, but let's do our best to remain loyal to ourselves, to treat ourselves 
good, to treat ourselves kind, to love ourselves. Things are going to happen. You know, things are always going to happen. But let's snap back. Uh, if, we're the snapback crew, man. And if you ever need me, hit me up. Snapback crew 316 at yahoo.com. And there's only eternity. So, you know how, like, when we do marriage vows, it's like, till death do us part. Dude, when you're a twin flame, there's no death doing you part. Like, I heard that. I was like, wait. We're going to have to change that when my time comes. When my day comes, we're going to have to change that. Because, you know, there, no. Uh-uh. You ain't going nowhere. You're me. I'm you. We ain't going nowhere. We're going to eternity with the Father. I don't know what you, <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. And then there's one more. Let's see what happens. Holy Spirit, can you please help? Why? Why aren't you remaining calm? What's troubling you? Calm don't always have to be a bad thing. Calm can be a mixture of things, even excitement. We gotta be careful because even excitement can drive us crazy. Zill is a must. Zill is a must. Even the Bible talks about zill. Don't let nobody take your zill from me. Yeah, All right, I love you, bye, Tristan. My kid going to school. He's a freshman. Oh, he's a grown man. <laughs> Just playing. But um, why? Why aren't you remaining calm? When patience is a virtue. They're giving you spirit flowers. Maybe you're seeing flowers more often. Maybe you're drawn more to flowers when you're out and about. Remember who you are. You have a beautiful voice. Both of you do. Because you are them. You, you are one. Accept that they want to bless you in many different ways. They want, they want to do you up. They're proud of you. They're proud of your growth, okay? They're proud that y'all are a power couple. You're a power couple and you're going to do great things for the kingdom of God. That's why we need you to remain loyal. We need you to remain loyal to yourself. Because loyalty is royalty. You're going to be one for eternity. Not till death do you part. So don't ever think like that. Don't ever think like, what if, what if my partner goes before I do? You know what I mean? What, then what? They don't leave you. You're one for eternity. They will never leave you. Unfortunately, you're stuck, like Chuck, okay? So why, why, why allow these emotions to go through the vessel? Let's cast them out in the name of Jesus. All right, is there anything else? Ooh, we got a few more. How about that? There we go. They're sorry. They're sorry for whatever happened that hurt you. They don't want to hurt they don't want to hurt self as much as you don't want to hurt yourself. You're them. All right? But some of us have lost our way for a little bit. And they're sorry. Please come back. It's okay. It's okay to need. It's okay to need me. You're mine. Let's see, because I know that that can hit many areas. Let's see. Holy Spirit, please help. Please help us, Holy Spirit. 
I'm sorry that whatever you're feeling, whatever negative or whatever it is, that's not that's not you. You're feeling them. And they're sorry that you're feeling their energies. That you are one. So this is bound to happen, okay? Can we get a little deeper, God? Can we get a little deeper? Get, get a little deeper, get a little sweeter? That would be really nice, you know? Maybe. So this is why we gotta let them help us, right? Yeah. Oh, this one's picking up. Again, this one's picking up again. They're really set on you remaining loyal to them. And I'm picking up that this is this is the mas the ah, divine masculine <laughs> energy, okay? Coming from that the energy is coming from the divine divine masculine and this helps validate it i don't do the switch uh that's not how i personally work myself timeless yes but for me it's it's more of a directness so if you see mel it's mel it's not female now your partner you might be you know you might be gay i ain't judging you my god tells me not to judge nobody that's what makes me mad about some people i'm like that's not love you know, so you're welcome. Anybody's welcome here. There we go. And when you manifest this relationship, that's, you know, are one of y'all, are one of y'all gay? I mean, I'm not judging you, but I'm just curious because we just said that and I was just letting you know that you're welcome here because Jesus loves you. If anybody told you that Jesus didn't love you I'm sorry on behalf of the Church of Christ they're liars they don't know no better they they might have been raised that way they forgive them please and don't take your life dear God don't take your life my oldest son is bisexual I support him wholeheartedly and I'll be the first one out there protesting against the protesters that think they're from the Church of God and they're really not Eric there or we need we need to help them get back on track my apologies but manifest with jesus only so that's going to be the end of this reading all right so manifest with jesus only okay because what happens is that and that's what they that's what your masculine is saying they only want you to manifest with jesus so nothing can breach the system so to speak all right because there is um there is a secret the only secret there is, is God. That's the only secret. And that's biblical. It's, it's biblical, alright? Paul even said he found the secret of life. And there, there is biblical manifestation. When you pray, you pray as if you already received, okay? You don't sit there and pray and then keep on praying the same prayer over because it shows a lack of um, belief. And, you know, it shows a lack of belief. It's understandable, though. It's understandable, but I really want you to pick that up, that when we constantly pray, pray the same thing over, it's like, what are we doing? Because we're shown a lack of unbelief, you know what I mean? Because the Bible tells us when we are to, we are to pray, as if, when we pray, we are to pray as if we already received, all right? So when you ask for something, it's said, it's done, all right? But so, and, and the thing about this is when we manifest, we don't manifest nothing. Christ does. And when our blessings come, all glory, all honor goes to the Father. All of it. All of it. How, where, where's God in the glory if we sit there and we're like, oh, well, you know, I manifested this thing. It's like, oh, here we go. You know what I mean? Like, now we got an issue with pride on your bow and... You know, and I'm not judging. I'm really not. I'm just strongly advising you to manifest with Jesus Christ alone. All right? He loves you. So that way when you get your blessings, because pride will cause a whole other of what, what would one say, right? Tower moments or whatnot? Yeah. 
It'll call a whole other series of events. Pride comes before a man's fall. So when our blessings happen, when we meet our twin flame, and we want to make sure it's a divine connection, twin flames are all spring from Adam and Eve. It's not like everybody really thinks when it comes biblical. So, you know, but they're very holy and sacred relationships. And we don't want to get caught up with karma. I, I've been there. I've been there with a karmatic for like two years, man. Some of y'all been there longer. Um, you know, like I feel for you, man. I really do. And I, and I, and, and I feel your pain of the weight. I, 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 I feel your pain. And that's why I would love to pray for you. All right. Let's pray. Lord God, I come to you, Lord God. And I lift up the viewers, Lord. And I ask that you help them, Lord. Help them to keep their faith. Help them to remember what it is they have prayed for, Lord, and to hold on to that prayer, Lord Jesus Christ. And I ask that you just reach your hand down and that you touch their mind, body, and soul, and that you walk with them and that you talk with them and that you love them, Lord God, and help them to see that they are divinely protected and guided, that you are for them. And if you are for them, who can be against them in the mighty name of Jesus? Nobody can. Nobody can, Lord God. And I ask that you just just give them an extra hedge of protection, Lord. Let them see. Let something happen that validates what, just something to validate what's going on, Lord. So to just help them hold on that a little bit longer and fight a little bit harder because they're almost there. Help them to see this is why the enemy is trying to break their break them it's because the enemy sees that they are right at that door lord god and that's one of the heaviest doors that we have to move it's like a stone that has to be rolled away for us to get to the other side and and help them give them the strength lord jesus christ give them the strength and let them know this is why they're seeing angels because even when even when mary and and Martha, they went and they, they went to find you, Lord Jesus. There were angels that met them at that door, Lord God, and told them. So let them see. Let them know that they're right there. That's why the, the heavenly realm is really opening up for them too. For them to see is because they are at that door. And we remove all evil energies all evil lord that is trying to hurt them that is trying to tear apart their connection because they are afraid we break that chain in the mighty name of jesus christ and let them see when the chain is broken don't come back in the mighty name of jesus lay it down help them to lay it down and to love their self lord god to really love their self and be true to their self and be the wonderful creation that you called them to be. Let them see that they are warriors of the cross in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I love you and I appreciate your time and I, I really appreciate your time. Yeah. Um, like I said, I'm a little, I'm new to this, you know, so I really appreciate your time and when you believe in this reading, you're not believing in me. You're believing in the, the power of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit applauds you. All right? And I do too. And I thank you for your precious time because you didn't have to stick around this long. And, you know, and even if you felt some quirks, it's okay. We all have them, right? But take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit. Know that you are loved. No, not only are you loved by God, you are loved by an everlasting love that also is going to reside in heaven with you. Now, the greatest of those loves, as we know, is Jesus Christ. And if you don't know that yet, it's okay. We're not judging you. We still welcome you. We still love you. You went across this channel. Jesus wasn't communicating to you. I promise you. All right? But be kind to yourself. Love yourself. And if you fall, even the Bible says the righteous man will fall seven times and he rise back up. We have a merciful God that loves you. That's why he sent his only begotten son. That whosoever shall call upon him shall have everlasting life and shall not perish. There's no judging. There's no judging. 
Love covers a multitude of sins, and we love you a lot. So please be kind to yourself. Believe in your truths. Remember who you are, child of God. And you have an everlasting love with your name stamped on it. It's you. It's always been you. Maybe that's why it's been, it's always felt so lonely. And even when you were with people, it was like, it was lonely and you were angry. It's because, it's because you're angry at yourself. Get it? <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? You're with the wrong one. <laughs> no. <laughs> this will not stand. I will not stand for this, you know. But I believe in you. And again, I thank you for your time. And I wish you many a blessings upon you and your family and your family's family and your family's family's family. From this generation to the next, to the next, to the next. Many a blessings in Jesus' name. Amen.